Okay. Uh, maybe. Maybe. There we go. Maybe. Okay, bit rate is excellent. I think I fixed that. I don't know what that was. Um, that was just Twitch taking a crap, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so what is this? This is a filler clip. A clip you have. Wait, if you reload with a full clip. What's that? I can do one more round. Wait, why would I reload with a full clip? I don't understand this. Like, why would I ever reload with a full clip? I don't, I don't understand what this does. Okay, so I'm, I'm purposely reloading when I don't need to reload. Is that what this does? This is gonna give me a headache. Like, even trying to figure out why I would even do this. Like, I can understand why I would do this with the barrier, because if I do this with the barrier, no, even then with the barrier, because I use the. What does this mean? Is this, is this explained properly? If you reload with a full clip. Alright, I don't know. Um, treacherous. Okay. You actually, okay, so. Wait, am I offline? All right, so basically, if you think you might need an extra bullet, you just reload. Is that it? Like, that's kind of weird and silly. Sorry for anybody that couldn't get into the stream back again. I, I'm sure I lost a fuck ton of viewers because of that bullshit. This is just Twitch fucking me over all over again. This used to happen to me a lot. I used to get so fucking pissed off at Twitch because their fucking network is garbage. But um, I know we're all the fucking bandwidth is getting filtered it's all it's all the big name people right that makes sense um it's fuck, man, i usually don't have issues yeah i had to have danny explain it to me because my chat apparently died or you guys weren't coming through something i don't know maybe you guys were trying to tell me that the, the stream had an issue but i wasn't seeing it so i did restart the stream and that seemed to fix it but i didn't know i mean i noticed the bit rate seemed weird but I was like, yeah, but I still see the stream coming through. So what's the story here? So apparently only I could see that, which is fucking great. <laughs> only I was able to see my own stream. Well, I mean, it'll be in the VOD, I think, still, technically. It, that's probably why I could see it. Because I was seeing the non-transmitted version. I was seeing the non-streamed version of it. I was seeing, like, the actual VOD is what I was watching on my preview. Fucking weird. Anyways. Okay, so I should probably... Okay, so there's... What was I going to say? There's some things... I think 10 is more than good enough on this. That's fine. 10%, maybe. I don't really care about crits, do I? Not really. Um, so you only need a tiny bit of toxin. So this is a utility, um, advanced feature. Now, what do I mean by that? Why would this be a utility? I'll tell you why, because you cannot get up while you are receiving damage. So let's say you down someone and you happen to have toxin on your weapon. Well, here's what toxin is going to do it's going to keep them from getting up unless they have some weird healing ability like um, there's ways to get around toxin but they would need to have 
pretty good healing factor in some way, one way or another, right? Like, like War Dog cards are famous for that kind of thing, uh, where they do burst healing, where it's just like a big chunk really fast. Um, so, otherwise, though, this this would be good. This would be a really good way to deal with locals, actually, because locals famously get up too fast. Well, a weapon with toxin on it, even the tiniest bit of toxin on it, will do this. Now, does this mean that Echo will do the same thing? Yes and no, because Echo only triggers once. Toxin continues to trigger. Um, so it's those extra three seconds. That's a lot of dodge rolls. That's a lot of derf rolls or whatever you want to call them. So like this could be very, very effective um, in, in deterring them getting up again. I don't know what 12% of my base damage. It's just going to be a very low number anyways. Do, 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 do. All right, so I maxed all those out. Thank you, Danny, for letting me know. That was super important for me. I always appreciate when someone uses whatever means they can to let me know, whether it's Discord, something else that's not fucking Twitch, because Twitch is really hard to work with sometimes. Um... So thank you very much, Danny. That was huge. That was, I, I would have just kept going like that, not really understanding what was going on. Um, I know that something similar happened to Suki, probably this exact same thing where Twitch just freaked out on him. Um, now, most of the time, if you're, if you're also a streamer and you, something like this happens, just like restarting anything else usually solves the issue. It's not any different here. Restarting Twitch or not Twitch, but restarting your your stream, which does suck. I'm not gonna lie. So stopping and restarting it usually will fix almost all of these weird anomalies that'll come up. Um, however, there's certain things that you don't even need to do that for. So I'm gonna kind of caution you against like just recklessly doing that. So these two slots right here, you don't need. And as far as like these things. It seems to be, so this one's blanked out, right? At least it looks like it's blanked out. So because they're blanked out, it doesn't seem to take it into effect. I'm not sure. Does anybody know for sure on this? I lost so many people and I lost people that were actually helping me sort this out. Fuck. Who's still here? Weeby's still here. Cookie's still here. If it's blanked out, so it's it's a darker one instead of a light one, does that mean it doesn't it's not being used and that's because it's not linking? So actually I don't even know if I want these to link. Right? Do I? Apparently I do. Because what is this X? Multiplies for the... It's a monitor. It needs to be joined to something. Okay, so they don't all have to be connected. So, but what does it mean when these connect? Oh wait, so, hang on, does that mean, whoa, does that mean I want to do this? No, that doesn't work. Oh, it inverts it. So it inverted this. Oh, and it inverted that. So it turns a negative into a positive. Or a bad... Uh, yeah, uh, okay, so it downgraded into... Oh, that's actually pretty interesting. Okay. So you do want to connect these. And I changed that into that. That's how I got the plus one, I guess. Interesting. So like putting that there, for instance. Oh! 
That gave me more points. Okay, now that I understand how this works... Now what? But that's a negative two as well, isn't it? That's weird. Okay. I don't know. How does that make things better? Is it because that's there? Oh, because that inverts that. Oh, because so now those connect. Oh, how fucking weird. Oh, now and those don't connect. Is that right? That ends up being better. Drag the negative one, uh, negative one energy to just a. It's com. It is very convoluted. All right. So I. This is right. That's what I was supposed to do. Is that right, cookies? This is what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to kick down. Now I got. A, I got better points. As far as I can understand this. I think I'm about like five more points that I don't know what to fucking do with. So they also caution that having more points in this doesn't particularly make it better. Yeah, I see the plus two. Yeah, I get that you're always looking over here. Like, regardless of what you're doing over here, you should be looking on this side and seeing what is actually happening because it's a very visual thing. And I still don't know what these, like... Okay, so now that I got that all sorted out... I don't think it matters where you put these, does it? I mean, I guess they're supposed to be at, like, the bottom? Oh, no. I mean, I guess these are just buffers, right? It seems like these just work as buffers. He's fucking... Except the epic ones. Okay. Yeah, but it really didn't. It really didn't copy that. Like, if that's the case, then that should... Copies a random slot from an adjoining... Is that epic? No, that's common. It's not. It's not increasing these at all. Like, if... Then there will be a convert option. Well, is that not what I just did? There's a five and there's a five. Is that not two good mods? Why to convert it? Oh, I have to convert it. Oh, shit. All right, but what about this? That just makes everything more expensive. Oh, wow. 
Well, I'm glad somebody did. I kind of fucking get all right. So now this is treacherous. Take those points away, obviously. All right. So this is this is my gun, I guess. That's better. I don't know if this is worth a damn. Like what? That does nothing. Like this, this does nothing. I mean, I get that, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Unless I'm supposed to like have fucking specific things in certain places. Like, should I put that there? No. Oh, wait a second. Uh, is it 1A? Oh, 1A and, and 2... Yeah, but I've got to move them up here, right? Oh man, this is going to be a bloody fucking mess. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Okay, I think guess that's better. Ish. Looks, oh, but I lost some points. Uh, fuck. Now what? No. <laughs> so I have less points, though. Um... Do I really even need that? Oh, I guess I do. It's all about shooting people. That's gonna be tricky though. You know, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I mean, that's cool and all, but. There we go. I don't know. That's. This is what. I think you just get to a point where you're just like, fuck it. This is what I'm gonna build. I mean, I sort of get it, but yeah, this is ridiculously technical. Like, to the point where you have to, like, I think, like, almost write this shit out. This is such a weird one. I'm gonna put it on Toxin and say, because I see more utility in Toxin than I do in fucking Paramagnetism. And over reload, you know what? Like, I don't know about that. <laughs> Treacherous, those super backstab damage. So what, what do you think is going to be less useful? The fucking... Everything got lost in translation. Look, we're trying. They gave us a puzzle. We might as well just play with it. Um, that's the best I can say. Uh, hey, Segan, I do see you there. Thank you for um, apparently popping back in. Or I don't know if you just showed up or not. Because my whole fucking stream is just a fucking bloody mess. Um, but I do see you in there. Oh, look at you. You're right next to the scum shop. I don't know how that makes you feel, but yeah, you might want to slowly but calmly move away from the scum shop. You know? Maybe keep a safe distance. We don't know what kind of things that they're selling, 
But, I mean, I think the indicator of them being a scum shop is probably not very good. Yeah, toxin is super easy to understand. I wonder if they're going to change this. Because this technically should be any flank. It shouldn't have to be a backstab, like just a flank. A flank could be from the rear or the side, and I think that would make this make a lot more sense. Really? I like Toxin, though. I mean, that's as many points as I could put into it, though. Um... I'll get my overload. I don't know what the fuck the point of this is, though, but... I know you gotta use all your fucking points, though. And at some point or another, I lost some fucking points, and I don't know how to get them back. <laughs> is it this? No. Oh, that. There we go. Got my point back. Okay, everything's swimming. I got this. I got that. I forgot how those things connected. Oh, actually, I want to do that, right? No? Really? Oh, because those are two negatives. Um, or some shit like that. That's better. Yeah, why is that? Shouldn't that be much higher? That should be better than that. I don't understand that. Oh, they're not connecting though for some... Oh, because there's no... Okay, there's no connector for that. That can only be at the top. I get it. So for me to make that work, I'd have to do... Which I'm not going to do that. Um, maybe? I don't think so, though. I, I doubt that that's possible. So, all right. So the ones are these. See this right here? Basic, advanced. Um, so this is, this is if you're not maxed out. Or you're asking for, you just want to add points. So that's the lightning bolts. That's the lightning bolt. So you just want to add more points to the basic features. Um, I mean, it seems like it could be possible, but it's probably very hard. So then you got negative three right here, right? You'd have to invert that. Yeah, you'd have to invert this with a negative lightning bolt, right? A multiplier negative lightning bolt like this one right here and this one. And then you would end up with um, more points out of it. I mean, once you kind of grasp it in a general sense, it does seem like it's possible. But see, then these ones, this column, so this column is the easier column to use. The B column, the A column is tricky. At least it seems to be tricky because like these ones don't work. At least not in the sense that I think they should. Huh. Okay, there we go. That's actually slightly better. I got an extra point for that. So you see now they can they or whatever. But they connected. Oh no, they didn't connect. Well fuck me. Yeah, um, I'm 
mean, yeah, I suppose. It, it just, you, you'd really have to go through all of these, right? And you'd have to simulate it on a diagram or something. Or in here. And yet, there's no way you could do this without playing with it. Like, that's the whole thing of this. There's no way you can't not spend time doing this. And just figure it out right away. You'd have to be... I, I mean, it's, it's hypothetically possible, but you'd have to be one hell of a math whiz. Because the reason why that is, is because you're talking about doing mental math. You're not talking about the ability to, like, work something out on a piece of paper, which you could do as well. We're talking about you could, like, figure this shit out in your head. And at that point, I mean, fine. I mean, you'll probably figure shit out that other people don't. This is a super heady system, though. Super, super heady. I feel like that shit could connect, but it doesn't. Anyways, I got one more point, right? We'll do that. I'm just gonna stop here because I'm gonna drive myself nuts trying to make all these adjustments. I understand I might not be making the best, not that I ever make the best build of anything, anyways. <gasps> so much of a way. Yeah, but I don't understand that it's gonna make a difference, Takato. Like, there's this assumption that. Okay, so there's this assumption that it's it's just built blueprints. That is wrong. That is wrong. I'll tell you why it's wrong. Because the same thing will happen, and the same thing has happened, with my already built blueprints. So, this idea that if you don't build something, that you'll... That it's not going to affect you, and that your existing blueprints will work fine. No, that's not true. Your existing blueprints. Now, here's the thing. What people are probably forgetting about is that a lot of these these stats, if they're they don't proc. In other words, whatever qualifiers required doesn't proc. You are reducing the overall damage of these weapons to make them quirkier. Okay, that's something I think people are are forgetting pretty fast. That in lieu of adding toxin and other things to your weapons you're making them weaker overall. And so these weapons being sort of like shitty, I guess you could say, DPS wise, is a result of that. You're exchanging DPS, overall DPS, for the weapon being trickier and maybe having a utility that it didn't have before. Um, with the exception of that one that makes you like an at like berserker berserker and I think um, What was the other one that one where you got to stand on the pentagram those ones? I think definitely do those two Absolutely do raise your DPS. However, they come with with risk Um, yeah, and I guess it does raise it more than what it lowers it but then they'll they'll be overpowered. It says doesn't matter. That's that's gonna be the same Takato I'm trying to explain to you. Like on this weapon right here, that decimal point is moved back on this one, just like it's moved back on the one I just built. It doesn't matter if you already built the gun or you build it now. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So it's not gonna make a difference. When they fix it. No matter if you build it already or you build it now, won't make a difference. It's not that kind of a glitch or bug. Okay, it's not a result of you building things, is what I'm trying to say. It's in the system itself. And once they fix it in the system, whether you build it now or you've already built it, yes, you're going to notice the damage of all weapons. All weapons that you built before and now being powerful again. Probably way too powerful. 
and it's gonna be the stupid silliness that's why i kind of hope it don't fix it all right away because like this actually makes the game a lot more competitive and and evened out for all players and it showcases what i knew all along and we all knew all along which is that forge is bullshit it's bullshit um like i this is what i think i think we shouldn't have forge levels and i've said this right i've said we shouldn't have forge levels like you should just go in here with a, a set amount of points you've gone through enough trouble and hell to get these blueprints designed or for free through through the uh, um the adventure system i don't think you should be restricted by this fucking leveling system so that way everybody can can build the same weapon at least at the same power potential now what you do with the power potential that's up to you but i'm saying that not you know one person shouldn't have like five points and then the next person has 37 points no i don't believe in that at all and that's all to do with yes exactly and that's how this was supposed to be originally cookies i don't know how long you've been playing i can't remember but originally everything was supposed to be side grades and they fucked that so hard they fucked the whole side grade thing up and then everything became direct upgrades and then more experienced players with more time in the game ended up with more powerful stuff because everything became an actual upgrade and not a side grade it it was a super slippery scope uh scope slope the only way they can redeem themselves with the forge system in my humble opinion is to get rid of forge levels okay just get rid of them don't have forge levels just have everybody have maxed out forge forge levels are fucking stupid just like passives were fucking stupid they need to go it creates great disparity and i don't care how overpowered people want to feel there's no point in it anymore there's just no fucking point in it um if if you want to make people feel powerful then everybody should feel powerful if you want to make people feel weak then everybody should feel weak no matter what everybody should have the same basic weapons you shouldn't be giving good weapons to some people and bad weapons to others that is just fucking dumb and it causes a lot of confusion and animosity is what it causes it causes massive animosity it pits new players against veteran players in a way that's incredibly toxic and there's another game that did this um which is why i never played it which was counter-strike counter-strike gave great preference to its established players over its newer players and it's why i refuse to touch it because i'm like if you're going to give someone that's been playing the game for a long time an advantage over me who just started out then i'm not going to play your game because i liked games like quake and doom and shit like that where if i did actually put the multiplayer not that i did but i knew it was a, a level a flat system like there there was no advantage that anybody would have just for playing the game more but yeah counter strike is where that shit started that shit was awful and, and people did like it so i can't deny that it works yeah it's it's not great there's a, there's so many things that they did they just did so much damage to the community like they really did pit new players like just exactly that they pitted new players against veteran players and um they forced them to go through this kind of hazing you know they were hazed by veterans and it was really nasty because we were going to haze them anyways in a manner of speaking with our skill that they had not yet garnered right they didn't know how to play the game we knew how to play the game we were already going to haze them on that level we shouldn't be hazing them on a statistical level right and that's what we were doing we were using our stats to haze them and that was bullshit that was complete bullshit it was completely unnecessary So anyways, now I got this built and I got it selected.
Oh, and I got, we're gonna go with this because I think it goes well with that outfit, maybe. Yeah, it does. I, I would say that goes well with that outfit. Look, it matches out quite well. That's the default outfit. This girl's good with that, but I'm gonna go with that. So he suppose that this thing has like a hood on it. That'd be kind of cool. If they actually gave this thing like an actual fucking hood. I don't like that that kind of outfit where it has like the hoodie attached to it. But in this instance, I think it would look really cool to have him look like a Grim Reaper and maybe even have his eyes glow um, to make this, this skin more interesting. Because some people like this skin and some people really hate this skin. But I think if they did like this hoodie, like went over the hood and hid the hair and like, do you know what I mean? Does that make sense to anybody? That would be enough of a change where this, this outfit could be definitely a cool outfit. And it, it's really not a big thing. Like to do that. They've stuck hoods on all kinds of fucking characters or, well, Herrick really, but. I'm sorry, was anybody even remotely trying to join me? I see you pronto. I just fucking noticed you because you're right next to Cookie and you guys have the same color. Uh, it's very hard for me to notice people's names easily when you guys have similar colors. I'm sorry, but like, if you notice someone in the chat has the same color name as you, like, there's a good chance I'm going to mistake you for them at some point or another because I'm reading this shit really fast. So we sort of figured out the system. I would say Cookie right now has put the most time into it. I mean, we're gonna need to write out like a proper tutorial, no doubt. Like we're just gonna have to, someone's gonna have to do it. And then from that written tutorial, someone's gonna have to make a video that demonstrated it. And they're gonna have to have a bunch of weapons to demonstrate the various phenomenon that could happen with this system because you couldn't just build one weapon and showcase how this works you'd have to build several and you'd have to build them different ways it's a tricky system to learn and to showcase i mean i think it has value and the, the really the only part about it that i actually really don't like is i don't like that all the points are coming from kills I think that that is a, a very, very toxic system. We're already in that system when it comes to the MVP system. We've done that. We've seen what that does. And I've, I've shown, like in my very first stream, I showed you guys, you saw it for yourself, that our matches were getting longer. Why were they getting longer? Because we were spending more time killing things. And we weren't doing the objective, okay? We didn't do this on purpose. It kind of just happened. This is going to happen a lot. People are going to try to milk these matches. It may just be one person in the match, but it's going to get terribly obnoxious. At least if they gave you some points for doing the objective, you might see things balance out a bit because it would be very pro-objective. This system is not pro-objective at all. And for something that's supposed to be end game meta kind of stuff, they should absolutely be pushing objectives and teamwork and not just fucking kills. And if they're gonna push kills to keep it from, from becoming incredibly toxic and overly competitive with the people on your team, in other words, you took my fucking kill, you piece of shit motherfucker that kind of stuff like people sending you nasty messages because you stole their kill yeah it's very anti-teamwork um there should be support points okay there should be support points you should get a, either a portion of the points or you should get equal the amount of points something like that so you don't get too butt hurt that somebody else stole your kill yeah they probably do Takato. No joke. They probably need to give you a lot of points because like a, a fucking uh, antagonist kill is like what 50 points 
50 points for an antagonist kill. And you could absolutely farm an antagonist. You could farm the fuck out of them. So for them to not spend their entire time obsessively trying to kill an antagonist, while well, the antagonist maybe keys into this and just runs around the map giggling, wasting your time because they know that you're you're too juicy, you're too juicy of a reward to pass up. Um and and just stretch the match out. Uh yeah, those objectives need to be super important. Like on the first mission, shooting down the um shooting down the gunships, for example, that could be an objective thing. Uh killing the engineers. Well, we we actually get we get points for that already, but um And maybe it could be gross points. Like, it could be a, a kind of gross point thing. Like, let's say you get through a particular portion of the mission faster. So you're burning it down. Because you got through it faster, you could get points for that. That would be a good way to exchange points uh, for kills, right? Or, or um, objective, like you're objectively playing it versus getting kills. You would reward them for getting through something fast and be like, oh, look, you all did really good. Here's a bunch of bonus points. Um, that we're going to give you. Games do this. I've seen many games do this. Here's a bunch of bonus points because you did really good on that section. You didn't let the engineer stop him. Um, like a still has all of his health on that first section. Something like that. Like you get in its proportion to how well you did. And you'll just get bulk points. Just these just chunk of points. And this could be very encouraging in a good way for teamwork and things like that like i'm all for things of that nature that may be more complex like i think they wanted to try to keep this system really simple but it's simple in a very detrimental way no but mvp does mvp is all kills cookie and this system just happens to use the same exact system that the MVP system does. The same exact system. It is that system. Except for instead of just it being P P uh, MVP, it's a persistent MVP. In other words, you're persistently doing what you would do to get MVP, but all the time. And that's where I don't like it. Because I already know what the MVP thing looks like. And how that makes people, how it makes players play, because it is carbon copy, the MVP system. You get um, some points towards your score for MVP as um, coming from like normal enemies, and then you get a bigger chunk of it from antag kills. And that, again, it's, it's, that's it. Like, that's exactly how it works. It, it's just more, it's, it's more literal. Like, it tells you exact point values. Where you don't see that in the MVP thing. You just know that you outscored everybody else. Therefore, you get a bigger chunk. Um, bonus on your score. It's the, uh... Oh god, it's the attitude that it gives players. It's is it's not good. Um yeah, so the attitude is 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 what I'm I'm concerned about. And maybe I think too much on this. I'll admit that. I overthink a lot of these things. Um, but when I start seeing them and I can't deny it, like, because I, I said, I've seen the MVP thing. They, that's been, an, that's been a, an existing system in the game. I didn't have to figure out what that looks like. I've seen it. People have been complaining about it ever since it came out. The MVP thing was kind of toxic as far as teamwork went. So... I knew any kill based system was also going to be very toxic because it is it's the same thing. Jesus Christ, I haven't I haven't played a single match and I've been going for I don't know, a couple hours at least. Sorry guys. I'm I'm doing a lot of talking and analyzing here and unfortunately I'm not playing the game. E 
even if you're not playing with randoms though even if you're not Takato, like it like the whole competitive thing for kills if okay so if there's there's a finite amount of enemies in a given amount of time okay so there's 20 enemies that can spawn within a given amount of time and those get divided amongst all the players right if i get a kill that's subtracting from your kills correct so that's one more kill for me and one less kill for you that's how anything that's like you know unless they're spawning so fast it doesn't matter ultimately every kill i get is one less kill you can get especially if we're we're actually going for the same enemy maybe we're even trying to help each other out um like actual teamwork it's it is going to be kind of frustrating for people that are trying to build that score up as efficiently as possible as they miss out on a kill especially an antagonist kill talk about fucking thirsty Talk about thirsty. 50 points for an antagonist kill. That's going to make people hella thirsty for antag kills. Okay, so yes, I think people will fight over that. Even if they're on a team together, even if they're communing together, I can see that things can go south and people might start infighting. And I, I do not believe I am the only one that believes this. Like, I think that this, this can be a, uh, you know, fairly easily established. And I, as usual, I hope I'm wrong. I don't mind that. Um, but if I'm not, like you're, you're gonna see it in your own matches, and it's, it's gonna be hard to avoid, because it's not like this system is just gonna go away. If it doesn't work, it's not just gonna go away. We're just gonna have to live with it. And like, you could also see in my matches, I don't know if y'all noticed, but I was taking a hit to my, my kill score. Like I wasn't going around like a normal, normally I would clear like crazy. Okay, I would clear like crazy. That's, that's something I enjoy doing. But now that I know that I'm killing stuff in a way that's taking away from somebody else's progress, not just their MVP thing, but like their actual progress in this whole mod system, I am a little bit more leery to do that than, than what I would normally do and a lot more prone to doing the objective. So it kind of, I don't really like doing the objectives. I don't like being objectively focused because I'm, I'm a lot better at clearing than most people are. I'm just going to be blunt about that. Like I clear very fast and I know how to clear very efficiently. Most of the time when I leave it to other teammates, they fuck it up. Maybe that's mean spirited to say that, but they fuck it up. And we end up getting swarmed by enemies because they just can't fucking clear. They're not very good at it. They want the kills, but they don't know how to get the kills efficiently. And they fuck it up. And I end up having to go clear anyways. Um, so I don't like doing the objective. Uh, and now I kind of have to. Because I, I, for one, I can't be confident that anybody else is going to do it. And two, I don't want to take away the points from somebody else. Because I know it doesn't feel good when they get taken away from me. So I don't want somebody else going to feel bad that I'm taking them away from them. That makes sense. I mean, I don't think any of this stuff is inherently bad. It's just the nature of the beast. The nature of the beast and how people use these sorts of systems tends to be negative. It's not a very positive thing. Even once people build these weapons after they get their, their whatever kill point goal, chances are they're going to be using these things in the most, well, toxin way they can, right? Toxin is a very toxic um, alternate, uh, alternate modifier or whatever. Um, People want these so they can be toxic with them. That's the truth of the matter. Yes, there are going to be people that want to use them to mess around with them and try them out. But trust me, we are still in a min-max type of environment. And that's not going to go away. So people are going to want to max shit out. And they're going to try to do that through these mods. And that 
it all feeds into this vicious cycle of creating trolls that ultimately create more trolls and it's just like oh i'm so tired of this like i just want to be part of a community that doesn't foster more bad behavior as a matter of habit and then at the same time the developers foster this same behavior like we could see it in their stream and how they behave and we could see it in what they support and that they're basically supporting you to be a troll you know buy trolls for trolls i guess is is their thing i don't Make sure it's on there. I have no idea what the actual damage output of this thing is going to be because I have all these weird modifiers on it. And it, it's in a way, it's better to just stick to one of these modifiers than do all of them like I've been doing. I sort of noticed that like when I was thinking about like what what you have to keep track of. Like toxins, the easiest. Obviously, we pointed that out. Toxins, super easy. You shoot them and you continue to do damage. That's super easy to keep track of. Echo, same thing paramagnetism and some of these other ones that require specific situations those ones you're going to have to think about and keep track of and that may Please be more of a pain in the ass than it's worth especially if you're receive. also keeping track of multiples of these so i have treacherous and i have paramagnetism that's two different things now technically i can stack those i'm sure i can get a paramagnetism bonus with a treachery bonus on top of a toxin bonus. The fuck is wrong with you, man? But what's wrong is that constant. I mean, that's that's a lot to keep track of. Will be. It's more probable for starving rattlesnake and, and that would be that would be an overly advanced way to play. Friends. And I, I I'll be honest. I think after all that effort, I think you're going to find it's not worth it from the person that's going to hit you in the face with a brick. Now. You know, Shall we look at the you're, you're, you're trying to be the, all this, all this really cool complex you know, and they're just going to hit you in the face of the brick while you're involves. spending all this time trying to figure all this shit out Valeria's daughter in a match. Expedition patron, and she likes to see how council spends money herself. And that's exactly like, oh, oh, ultimately in a combat situation, I don't imagine you would want things to be too complex because it's detrimental to your survival. Dude, it's detrimental to your survival that you right. overanalyze things and continue to analyze now, things too much. Go it's going to reduce your combat effectiveness. So, just like that. Yeah. Just like y'all, I have opinions and I like to express them. I lied to you, I lied to you, I lied to your face in the summer, Takato, in the summer. And my hair turned thin, I'm in my hair short thin. Good morning to my cops. Good morning to my upstairs neighbor. And the kids are 22. And my own lend me a paper. Stop. I wish that I could live life safer, but I can't do it. No, my life's so blue. Lend me a favor to too. Is this the work of that Valeria? You sure we want that bitch? Oh, yes. I like it. These lyrics are so weird. I don't know how he remembers these. Are you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what is the <laughs> <party laughs> Shut up, Takata. <laughs> I need a song with the right kind of vocals that I could actually do, which is really weird vocals. Because I know my vocals are all kinds of fucked up. But I can actually do certain vocals that no one else would be able to do because my vocals are so fucked up. Okay, so where's paramagnetism? There we go. Oh, that's cool. That just blanks it out. Or is that treachery? Wait, is that paramagnetism or is that treachery? That's the paramagnetism. I like the compass. Wonderful! 
Oh, champion. Oh, nice. Wait. Ah, I have. Oh, fuck you. Uh, oh, we had an antagonist! Did we really? I didn't think we did. No. Sometimes. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, but. That's the derp throw. I'm just gonna call it the. I'm gonna replace judo throw. That's gonna be the, the derp throw. We have a derp roll, and now we have a derp throw. And I'm sorry, that is the funniest fucking thing ever. Anybody that doesn't laugh when they see that has no fucking soul! Because that is the most ridiculous thing yet. Yeah, that's compass. It lets me know what, what the north is. Oh, it changed already. Look! Now this is north, Takato. The north just keeps changing. The polarity of the planet has already shifted! It changes on each transition, too. Oh, that's weird. Alright, so now I've got to point that direction. And I was so well, sometimes I hate that you know me so well. Things I wish that I wasn't myself. And I hate that you know me so well. Sometimes I hate that you know me so well. Sometimes I hate that you know me so well. Sometimes I wish that I wasn't myself. No. And I wish that I know me so well. That you know me so well. You really need the bonus. The thing is, you sacrifice damage for this bonus. So for you to maintain your DPS, you actually need this bonus. That's the weird thing about these. Oh well, sometimes the Santa Compass. <laughs> yeah, the, the Santa Compass. I wanted to try it out. Can you blame me? Can you blame me for wanting to try out what you call the Santa Compass? Because it points it points to the North Pole. <laughs> Is that what you mean? Is that why it's a Santa Compass? All right, let's see how you did. No, it points towards the Krampus. But it's my fucking. Is it a scene? Um, so, uh. Oh, is that what this song's about? Love is a currency. Okay, I never really. Kick ass. So yeah, no, it, for me, for me, Cookie, it's now, it's the Krampus. I ain't pointing towards no fucking Santa Claus. Mine points towards the Krampus, and that Krampus is gonna come towards you. He's gonna come at you, and he's gonna go right up your ass. Okay? Because that's what the Krampus is all about. Alright, he's not nice. He's not bringing you gifts. Oh, he's got his coal, and some bad, some bad things gonna happen. That's what, that's what my compass is all about. Alright? <laughs> there ain't no fucking Santa Claus. Unless it's like your dirty uncle dressed up as Santa Claus and you gotta be like, oh man, I really wish you didn't have a boner right now because this is kind of like sexual harassing me and I'm gonna be scarred for life. Maybe like that, but um, I hope not. <laughs> One would hope you didn't have that experience in your life, but you probably did. Bringing you all very much out of your comfort zone is something I do enjoy doing. So I think I'm going to uh, uh, order a fucking sandwich. I'm going to order a sandwich because I don't want to eat too late. I want to actually try to sleep tonight. My cats are all chilled out on my fucking clean laundry. Or my clean blanket. That con fucking had to piss on. 
so I had to wash it. Just, I guess, what happens. Give me all your kill points. Oh, pfft. my God, I got a hundred. Shut up. You can't have my hundred. You can't have my hundred shitty kill points. God, that was nothing. Um, you know what? I, I would if I could, Takato. I'd give you all my kill points because you know what? Like, I just, I'd just give them to you while you, while you, until you uninstall the game again. And then I'd just be like, no, no, Takato, no. We can't just keep going through this. You can't just keep putting things down and then picking them up again. You gotta stop this, man. You have you have issues with commitment, is what you got. You gotta hold on to something. Hold on to it like your life depended on it. Cause your your dependency on giving up on things is a little bit too high. You gotta grab life by the coattails, Takato. You gotta grab it by the coattails and hang on. And not keep slipping off and sliding down the hill. Like a greased up banana, I don't know. Okay. I am watching my Discord, uh, Danny, just so you know. I've been watching it this entire time. We're trying to. What is it? What did I want my phone for? Uh, oh, so I could see where my fucking finances are at. Not great. Um, yeah, thanks for hanging out as long as you did, Danny. Uh, this, this stream was in part. This stream was in part due to Danny, Danielle, lovely Danielle, uh, because uh, this is this is this is how this is how we manage to interact with each other. Um, so, yes, thank you, Danny, and of course, uh, you're welcome to everybody else. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, because I didn't have to stream today, I actually kind of intended to stream yesterday, and then kind of sleep and relax today, which I didn't get to do. No nothing I ever planned to do ever works out, so. But yeah. Yeah, you send me all the porn you want, Danielle. It, no one's gonna see it. I, I'm not streaming on the PC. And even if I was, the only reason they would, the only reason anybody would ever see everything is if I did full screen captures, which I almost never do, for that exact reason. Because I got porn all over the place, man. I got porn in all kinds of places on my computer, and I gotta be careful I don't accidentally click on things and like fucking shit just explodes onto the screen like a goddamn penal jack in the box, just like bam right in your face exploded everywhere like fireworks and fire and like like the old version of 
Space Lord special effects just all in your face like Bokake and you can't just you can't get it out of your eyes once it's there you can't see a goddamn thing <laughs> it's there it's burning your memories and now you need more therapy and no one's gonna help you no one's gonna help you no one's gonna believe that I ruined your life some random motherfucker on the internet so good luck with that <laughs> That's why I don't do full screen. Or not full screen. Uh, I don't do uh, screen captures. I try not to. It's useful if I'm doing stuff off of, like if I want to show something off on my uh, on my browser, but like, yeah. You never know. You never know what I got preloaded into that fucking thing. I am an adult and I do adult things. And most of those things are not things you're supposed to be streaming. Well, that is interesting. I'll just go with that. Uh, it's not my goal, Takato, to top your weird shit with my weird shit, but I mean, it's some kind of a thing, I suppose. Uh, oh, yeah, you're going to join me. I feel like sometimes I'm guilty. What, what just happened here? Did I just miss it? No. Oh, there you go. Um, <laughs> well, you don't just play with me, Takata. You play with other people. I've seen you in other streamers, um, like, uh, things. You play with uh, quite a few streamers as, as, as far as I've been. Which is good. I don't want to be the only person you play with. That's, that's not a really big pool of people to play with. And, and quite honestly, like, just like Mercury Steam doesn't play nearly as much as they used to, well, neither do I. But, I mean, I played this game so ridiculously much when I could that I do have a pretty good experience pool. But, like, I will easily admit that there's people that blow me the fuck out of the water. Some of them started way later than I did, too. They just played so obsessively. And uh, I could never compete with their knowledge base. It's so explicit and extensive that it's just like I think Woody was one of those people. I think Brent has like has like a crazy catalog in his head of like all the different things in this game at various points. Things that I probably didn't even have access to and or I didn't bother with, and he messed with probably all of it. And Brent was the one we used to make fun of, by the way, because he bought everything. He bought everything. He bought every fucking skin that came out. Every single one of them. Brent owns every single skin in this game for every single character. I'm pretty sure he still does, but I maybe he stopped, but he used to. I guess he would have had to start over again because he started on a different platform. So I don't know if, I don't think he did that again. I mean, I kind of had to find some parody in that as well. Cause I, I didn't want to like, just keep rebuying all the same stuff again. I wanted to like, you know, maybe someday I will, if I have that much money to burn. I mean, yeah, there are worse places to burn it in. But yeah, I'm actually taking this update a lot better than I thought I would, Takato. And maybe it's because of the bug, glitch, whatever you want to call it. But I expect it to be a lot more irritable with this. Uh, and maybe that's... It, you know what? This always happens. I come in with such a negative attitude and then I end up not being that bothered at all by it. And then everybody else is coming at it with this very positive attitude and they end up being the ones that are really bothered. It just shows you how strong strong an influence your expectations can have on reality like if you're not going in there expecting too much you're probably going to have a more positive outlook even if to everybody else you look so entirely negative that doesn't have to be the final outcome of what you feel and think it's it can absolutely change and i've actually been having fun with this because i'm having fun with figuring it out and using the systems and I'm still trying to work out the best ways to use the judo throws, but I've offered my criticism. Like, I 
offered it right to Ojul, and I don't know that he took it, but I think Laura might not like me very much, so that's fine. I don't... I, I always felt like I, I had the best relationship I could have with Karen, because Karen was so easy to like, and that worked for me. Like, I just didn't want to pick a fight with Karen. Oh, thank you, Moonfixer, for the, for the hosting. Um, I just didn't want to pick a fight. I don't know that anybody did. Like, I, I can't imagine somebody wouldn't feel guilty for picking a fight with Karen. But Laura... I don't know, man. Like, I don't think Laura has that... Because Laura is kind of vicious. Um, so I could see all kinds of people picking fights with her. Maybe just to literally just pick a fight with her. And that's not good. So, I mean... Ideally, we would have Karen back, but that's not ideal for her. And I think she's in a really good place. That company that she's working for and the game that they made is fucking amazing. I really would love to go back to it and get past the first episode because it is episode of combat. But fucking hell, dude, the episodes are pretty lengthy. Unless you're using a guide, you have to figure a lot of shit out. So it reminds me of... Um, Day of the Tentacle, in a lot of ways, where you had to find something to use with something else. Like, very standard, um, very standard adventure type stuff. But what makes it less standard and more like Day of the Tentacle is that all the characters in the game, for one, they could die. Okay, so they could die. And when they died, that was permanent. They're dead. You can't use them anymore. And, and their entire skill set, whatever skill set they had, is also dead and gone. So, it was all about keeping as many people alive. Um, what was the first one? It was, so, the first one was Day of the Tentacle. Was the first, uh, I just looked that up and it'll probably tell me the... Day of the Tentacle. Okay, so there's Day of the Tentacle. And then... Man, uh, Man, Maniac Mansion. That's what it was. Maniac Mansion. God, what do I... Uh, it was the game that most people know because it let you microwave... It let you microwave a hamster. It was a really fucked up thing to do, and if you did this, you would die. <laughs> so if you ever wondered, like, what was the repercussions, I think there was a way to get away with it without dying, but, like, for the most part, you were... You, when you did it that first time, for sure, you're dead. Like, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. And for a Nintendo game... Like, to, 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 like, express this this really warped thing, because this was a Nintendo game. So you killed someone's fucking hamster, and then they fucking murder you for it. Like, that was really dark shit for a kid. Like, you don't just kill the thing. Like, you exploded in that fucking microwave. Like, it was just pretty goddamn grisly. It was probably one of the most mature games I ever remember on my Nintendo system. Like it was, it was definitely things. It, people talked about that game when I was a kid. People talked about that game quite a bit. I'm gonna have to build other weapons for other characters, so I can. And there's no point in the judo throw on this because there's no elites. There's no elites, and there's probably not gonna be an antagonist either. So. And this mission is such shit without an antagonist, and it's shit for the antagonist. So, I almost feel like it's better off if we don't get an antagonist, because I feel like it's just a shit show for the antagonist, and it's just shit. It's such a... Such a mindfuck. Um, we might actually have an antagonist here. Yep, there we go. We got... Please deck, accept deck my apologies for the ass-kicking you are about to receive. Look, it's Xbox! We got a comic Hades. In Gborg. We now know the location of the third protector. He was captured by council and taken to this. The place. copy mods? Don't That's don't great. ask me. I Wait still see if it really is good news. I he wasn't captured by I just kind of moved things around until it worked. Takato, I'm not sure I really fully get it. Know how to find or at least I might be misunderstood. I it might be a misunderstanding on my part. Let's crush those fucking hollow ones. Well, that's good. Then you're going to be a cut above. See, the thing is, this is why I think people will figure it out, no matter how complex it is. So you just figured it out. Somebody else doesn't figure it out. You 
have an advantage over them because understanding a system gives you a lot of ability uh, as far as you could use it in a more efficient way that someone that doesn't understand it isn't going to be able to. Holy shit. It's not too bad. So I gotta do... It's sort of weird. Okay, so it's a, a decent range. Are they even spawned in? We don't have any deaths. We have no deaths. And... Doesn't look like they're using the AI. I don't know if they get any. That may be a result of them not getting any AI. What are we playing at? 20%? That's actually pretty low. Nope, they spawned in and they're dead. That was that was fast. No, oh, mine. You're too fucking slow. Maybe if you were the host, you would have gotten it. Maybe if you were the motherfucking host with your motherfucking host connection bonus bullshit, you would have gotten that out instead of me. But you know what? I'm gonna get more kills than you. Probably not, but I'm gonna make you think. You think! You think about it. You think about me taking your kills. All your kill points. All of them. You're never gonna build that weapon you wanna build. Or I'll just drop some balls on your ass. <laughs> I'll be dropping balls on your ass. Blue balls. The best kind of balls. The bluest of the balls. Ooh, they got a kill. Good on them. Is that... Oh, they're using Mika. I thought they were using... Did they not know to... Jesus Christ. Wherever the fuck they're at, they're stuck there now. That thing takes forever to recharge. Oh, they got the kill! Look at that! They got a tiny little shell! No, oh, that they ran away. They 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 sped out of the uh, the range using the lag to their advantage. That was good. That was clever. Jesus Christ! That was with. Oh, that was the backstab! I was getting the backstab bonus. Oh, dude, that is so strong. Is that for real? Oh, security compromised. Big risk Oh, damn it. Oh, man, that's so hard. Um, I almost got it. I need to have a, a shot locked in. So they need to be yellow to you for sure. This is a small paramagnetism is a smaller bonus. The uh, treachery is is much a much bigger bonus. Kind of hard to tell. That looked like the treachery bonus, maybe. What is my over reload? I haven't done over reload yet. Oh, there's my there's. I got four shots out of three. Uh, Takato, you might want to just give me the alloc- Wait, are we even going to rush this? Okay, I hate to say this, but we're probably better off just farming the Antag and stretching this out, but... I mean, we don't have to. This Antag's pretty savvy. Just gonna... Oh, I'll put my music back on. Move that. Do that. Do that. Do that. space and then. Other than sales and then. I think I can understand. I understand. We are gonna invite the play. Seeing the dreams on the train. It's inside. Of the dream. Eyes. 
We got hit, we were stuck in the storm. We were born to ignore. We got God is a chance. But she said, hey, little, I'm saying, run away. You take the air out of my lungs and make me feel it. I pray for everything else, don't take the healing. Don't so take the money. Don't take the money. Don't take the kills. Don't take my kills. I understand. I understand. Hey, we fight, stay up late. Take no trains on the plane. Can slides on the street. And your ass, your head. What? Oh! <laughs> Where they went. Oh, they worked. Run away. the air, my feel it. You'll not get over there. Ah, oh, he got me. Oh, that was a good fight. That was a damn good fight. That was a damn good fight. Damn, that was such a good fight. Feel it. Don't take the money! Don't take the money! These guys have a lot of health. These things have over 300 health. Don't take the money. Oh, there's some definite lag here. Take the money. You stay in the air right up my lungs, you make me feel it. You pray for everything you lost, I'll take to heal it. Pray for everything you don't, I'll take the money. Don't take the money. Are, are, why are you a million fucking miles away, whoever's shooting at them? Takato, just fucking CQC them. I love when people think they're helping by just like shooting from a million miles away. <laughs> You could have easily interrupted that. Or could you? Oh, there are maybe they're using they are probably using a melee build. I didn't think about that, but yeah, that makes sense. Because that also improves their throws. I'm thinking about this at all. Did you get the elephant? They're right behind you, Takato. Takato, wake the fuck up, they're right behind you. And that's how I unload into your ass. <laughs> that's how I unload into you until you die. I just outshot a Mika that was gonna hose my ass good. This is disgusting up close. They're gonna die, for sure. Do you? You're worth so many juicy points! I couldn't resist. The evil within me grew. And it said I must have the kill points, the 50 kill points. They're super important to me. They mean that I'll do stuff with my weapons that I never knew I would do before. Good. That bug is almost dead wow, now. fucking hell. Seriously, are we almost done? Oh! Ah! Oh, I got him. You want to use the ball I just made? I want somebody. I'm picking up these kills even though I'm not really trying to. I'm just trying to lower their health. There's somebody. Everybody lost somebody. Jump! Dude, bunny hop! I've been over this. Bunny hopping speeds up Fifth Council dramatically. Like, it dramatically speeds them up. It's a huge difference if you run or if you bunny hop. It looks so stupid, but it really does work. 
That's why I don't care if I look like an idiot when I do it, because I refuse to go at, at a fifth council speed when I know I can go faster. And it's not an exploit. You're just doing what you would normally do is you're part of parkour is removing friction, right? Why do you, why would you ever jump in parkour? Why would you propel yourself? Well, because you're removing friction and by removing friction, you're allowing your momentum to build in a way it couldn't if you had friction. So it's the same principle. I mean, it's exactly what you would do. I mean, but though, obviously, unless you're terribly unathletic, like running will be faster than bunny hopping, but compared to the person that's not terribly athletic, yeah, bunny hopping would probably be faster. Try that next stuff. Hey, you know, I mean, I didn't tell you to pick Constantine, but I can understand why you did. For the same reason that someone picked Kuzmin, so you could fucking shoot forever without having to reload. So break. Everybody lost somebody. Everybody lost somebody. Everybody lost somebody. Mm -hmm. Running last somebody. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. Just gonna be lazy. I thought we did okay. I have to admit, I was trying to do the, the damage thing even. I wasn't keeping track of when it was enough. If 430 is. Kinda good for me. <laughs> So I'm not really focused on this shit. No one likes it, I remember. The ones that I forget. The old heroes is tired. The old is only little yet. Where's my meatballs? Where's my meatballs? There's my meatballs. Don't remember all the ones that I forget. The only rose in life. Oh, now there's something better yet. Something better, yeah. Um, so what does that want to get? Uh, phone. Anyway, oh, that's got toxin too. Uh, I'll be something better, yeah. Uh -huh. A phone. Yeah, right then. A phone. I don't think I could do anything yet. No. Nope. Uh -oh. I'll be something better, yeah.
I'm probably just gonna use normal fucking weapons because, like, for fuck's sake. This is such a pain in the ass. I'm still gonna rant like crazy. I'm gonna be bipolar. I can't deny that I am bipolar as fuck with this company. Or that I love them and hate them in almost equal measure, but... Almost. I do love them more than I get pissed off at them, but... It is. It's like... It's like screaming at children. Like, you know you're not, you're not doing anything but, like... Leaving a bad impression, but at the same time you're like, WHY WOULD YOU DO THIS?! Why would you put peanut butter inside of electronics? What is wrong with you? Let's get married. Don't want to look alone. Let's get married. I don't want to look alone. Let's, let's get married. Don't want to walk alone. Let's get married. Me right on a luck alone. I know way. Oh yeah, my pets too. Yeah, when my, my cat Cleo donkey kicked my computer off my goddamn table. I lost my voice that day. I screamed so much I lost my voice. I was so pissed off. And she took off like her ass was on fire, too. <laughs> I just can't be afford- I can't afford to replace stuff that- that gets broken, so if it gets broken, that's it. It's broken, it's done. And I just gotta deal with not having it, so... It's the, it's the reality I live in. Bliss. They say the toast are kind. Star loss. I don't say bliss. God, I wish I had lyrics from Spotify. Mary. Don't want to walk alone. I don't know why that's not a feature on Spotify where you could have like a weird karaoke mode. For fuck, you're playing, you're paying for the goddamn service. Like, I don't know why they can't add in, like, lyrics so I can see the lyrics. Let's get married. Oh, you don't want to look alone. Oh, no way. Hey. Uh, you could, you could ascertain it, Pablo. Okay, so if you're on... If you're on Steam, okay, so if you're on Steam, and if it shows, if it shows something like this, okay, like it shows Takato, so this is Xbox. If you're on PS4, this is what it's going to show you as well, okay? So if you're on PS4, it's going to show you this other console image thing. If you're on Steam, Steam, it's gonna show you like, uh, like it's, it'll show you the Steam symbol. I'm the symbol. I'm pretty sure. Or will it show you like a computer? I can't remember. It's, but it does actually show you. You like you could figure it out. Like if you have a mix of people. Well, if you see a PC icon. Okay, if you see a PC icon, I'm just fucking all you. Uh, if you see a PC icon, that is Steam. Most likely that's Steam. I very seriously doubt that's Windows 10, because like no one plays Windows 10. That's Steam. You're seeing Steam. So, I mean, and if I'm on Steam, I see the appropriate icon for Steam. And really, weird enough, if I'm on Steam, I also see a PS4 icon. So I see the proper PS4 logo. Or the Sony daughter? logo, but I don't yes. see a logo for Xbox. Instead of seeing the logo for Xbox, I the see a console icon. So it's the different depending on the platform According you're on, but data, I get what you're saying. It should just be months. universal, right? I, I don't know why it is the that way, but it's... it's. 
don't know that it's terribly important. I mean, if you're if it doesn't look like a PC symbol, it's it's the other console. Like, how hard is that to figure out? It is going to get a little bit more convoluted if this game ever comes to Switch, which, by the way, I think it will. But I mean, ultimately, everything in this game becomes more and more convoluted. It becomes more casual and convoluted both at the same time. I'm not sure I've ever experienced that in another game. I've never seen a game get both way too easy and way too complex at the same time. They have a very weird, I guess you would say, dichotomy going on in this game that just... I, I don't know... It's probably because they have different people working on different things. And some people believe that they should make things more complex, and other people believe they should make things um, simpler, or easier, more casual. So it's probably due to the person handling it. On, um, on how these particular changes affect the game and the community. I, did I see an, okay, I don't, Goodbye to my elementary. Goodbye to my upstairs neighbor. Ah! Don't you buy me a favor? Is that a concert? Upstairs neighbor. Okay. I technically did mine as well. Hilarity, motherfucker! I'll throw your ass right off this fucking ship. Get off my fucking ship! <laughs> Get off my ship, you motherfucker! I'm gonna throw you long and hard and bounce you off every fucking cloud that is near us because it's my motherfucking prerogative to do so. Are you gonna fight me in scenery? What is his name? I can't read his name. What does that say? 17 Gargun? That's a really interesting name. I don't know how to put it any other way. It's a very interesting name. I don't know what to think about that. Goodbye to the kids downstairs. Goodbye to the upstairs neighbor. Goodbye to the kids downstairs. Anybody that lend me a favor. Bye to the kids I have. Goodbye to my upstairs neighbor. Bye to the kids downstairs. Anybody that lend me a favor. Goodbye to the kids I have. Goodbye to the upstairs neighbor. Goodbye to the kids downstairs. Anybody that lend me a favor. Ooh, each other! Who got chucked off the tits of Kaido? You got chucked off the ship! <laughs> he threw your ass! Oh, wait, maybe he didn't. No, mate. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure he did, because I saw how far you went. I'm pretty sure, yeah, he yeeted your ass. He used the bubble, though, didn't he? He used the bubble. I bet he used the bubble. Because that totally looked like he used the bubble. Oh, I fucked up. Never mind. Just kidding. I'm just trying to freak you out, man. I just wanted you to be aware of your environment. Get out of here! I'm floating. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Am I gonna die? No. Oh, he died? He died? I don't think he died. I lost track of him. Now, if you use your guns to down people, I want to be very clear, you're still going to do an execution. So, executions are still there. God damn. 
This guy knows how to protect himself. He's like, I ain't putting up with your stupid rapid punch and bullshit. But it's, it's my best plan. Very well laid plan. Oh, you should have yeeted him off the ship. What a missed opportunity. He had some health. You got to do it while they still got health left. Or it doesn't work. He's rolling so much. Look at him, Murphro. I don't know how many rolls he got in, but that was a lot of rolls. Oh shit, I'm dead. Ow. Oh, he got me anyway. Thanks, team. Thanks, team. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks for paying attention. Caught that guy for like a solid minute. That was a struggle for sure. Is that you, Pablo? Or are we fighting you? That was a that was so much dumping. And I missed us day. Will you guys fucking help me, you cunt bags? He had a tiny little bit of health. Oh, for fuck's sake. He had like the tiniest shred of health. Fucking cunts. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's all good. There was no reason why I had to die there. Someone, I'm like, seriously, no one's gonna shoot him? No, no one's gonna shoot him. That's grand. Well, that was a, that was a true fight though. But he let his health go. No, somebody stopped shooting at him actually. That was actually not even supposed to be my fucking kill. Alright, so this Suma who could've helped me, who else is here? It didn't help me. All can fucking die. I'm gonna watch the entire kill your ass. <laughs> you sons of bitches! I'll give you teamwork. I'll give you the same kind of teamwork you gave me. Get over there. Get over and hit but. Get off my fucking ship! <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, he's... Oh, because we have... Do we have an idea? God, we're never gonna finish this fucking objective. No one's even bothering. Hey, this is it. This no one's even bothering. We've but look at how much Aleph we got. Has anybody put any in? No, you fucking cunts. You're not putting the Aleph in. I knew it. I knew it. I knew this was gonna be the fucking game. No one's putting in Aleph. Pronto. Pronto. No one's putting in Aleph. We sat at 70 for God knows how long because no one was putting in Aleph. They waited for me to fucking get the one Aleph that I needed to fucking put some in. Because they can't fucking put any Aleph in themselves, but it's pretty sure I've done most of it. Concern Doge. <laughs> Thanks me quite like you. It's worth it. Oh, oh I think they shot them to death. Oh, that was, uh, that was poison. Or toxin. I'm gonna keep calling it a poison. It's basically poison. You can't get away from me. Eventually, you, you get the timing wrong and you get grappled anyways. Like, you really do have to time those derp rolls. And if there's lag, um, which there doesn't seem to. This seems to be a really good, solid match. We're at 100 ping. 
Who's the host? Uh, Fedora. That's interesting. They have a good connection to everybody? That's pretty rare. How did they pull that off? How did they pull off having a good connection to people on... Ah! Ah! <laughs> they just, they just yeeted the, yeah, that one, it's the yeet. They yeeted the, the fucking hose stuff, though. I really want to throw you off this ship, because... I want to be able to do it to these guys, though, so I want to be able to do it to the basic enemies. Like, as long as it's, like, the first hit, like, maybe you should be able to yeet them or something. I don't know. I don't really like this whole yeet thing. I just, I can't not laugh at that. Like, I don't even care that I just die. I'm well past caring about dying in this game. That just looks so ridiculous. Brian, man. And he's using Constantine, which is gonna yeet you anyways, because he's got the fucking yeet bubble. And this team is full of fucking idiots that don't know how to cover each other, so... I know! I know that we're gonna die, because, like, this is such... I don't know, maybe we're going easy on him. Who knows? Oh, we let him get... We let her get that? Oh, grand. Grand! I'm insane. What the fuck? Oh! Really? Where did those balls come from? I thought they were all done. Nah, he's gonna like this. There you go. Oh, they got him. I, I just, from out of habit, I don't like IU players because they are they tend to be really obnoxious, but then again, I'm playing Dolder and with a defender, so I don't know. Oh, she actually got an, uh, an overshield? Is that the bubble? The blue blade? Did I float someone else? Well, there's a lot going on now. Extra round in the chamber. Just bubble me out of there, I'd appreciate it. She already do it. Oh my god, you guys are so fucking dumb. Like, Jesus Christ. They were right the fuck there. Uh, this this team PvP wise is, is pretty trashy, but I'm taking this shit too seriously. What the hell is wrong with me? This level is part of piss me off. It's supposed to piss you off. He's like the most obnoxious character to PvP against. And they did that. They felt that he wasn't strong enough with his fucking bubble. So they're like, oh yeah, no, it, it's gotta make sure that that thing knocks you back all the time. And, um, 
Yeah, that broke the fuck out of him. That broke the fuck out of him good. His movement is really nice. Dude, he is cracking that. Somebody, somebody wasn't having that. Is that you, Takato? Yeah, that is you. This is one of those teams that I'm like, eh, I'm kind of okay with losing. So you're still getting one hit kills, as far as I can tell. In fact, it's faster. Because once you're flying through the air, I mean, that's it, you're done. No one's gonna stop you from flying through the air. Yeah, Constantine will always be obnoxious no matter what. Like, he's never not been obnoxious. He's always been an obnoxious character. Always. They're gonna get their points from this match regardless. Whether we win or not, they're getting their points. Because they're getting kills. And they're getting them pretty consistently too. And a lot of it has to do with poor teamwork. Um, just... Uh, probably not focusing on the objective either. Because everybody, again, they're probably just trying to focus on kills. They're probably trying to maximize their their kill score or whatever the fuck. And then they fucking kill it. So if it's if when it comes to fucking stealing kills, then they'll they'll help you out. Because they still want those fucking kill points. But as far as like actually helping your teammate out, no. Oh, I will, I will slap you. Or you little cunt bag. I don't know where I'm going. The Chicago, Chicago is right triggered, and he, he's going nuts. If you really want to, you really want to get back at him, Chicago. You're gonna have to yeet him off the ship. You're just gonna have to eat him off the ship. I don't know what to tell you. That's oh, she shit. She uh, she blacked me. Uh, if you don't eat him off the ship, it's just not gonna have the same impact. It's all about it's all about the eating of the. He's still. Getting so angry. <laughs> I'll try not to be too temperamental here, but I can't promise. I'm really hungry. That's just the truth of it. I, I get really hangry. Can't deny that. I just want my fucking food. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, dude, the AI stopped Alright, sorry about that. I had to get my fucking food. That can't be helped. Food food takes priority. God, are you still in? You 
That's my bedroom. Well, they know how to use the bubble. I mean, does it surprise anybody that a Constantine main would know how to use their fucking bubble? Oh, they got this. They got this. You gotta, if you want to win this, you gotta, you're gonna have to focus on, uh, on Eska, honestly. Forget about the Antag and just focus on Aneska. She doesn't have that much health. She, we can get through that last bar very easily. If we just fucking shoot at her. Because otherwise we're gonna lose those five lives. I don't think they can sap the five lives before we finish. They're gonna get damn close. But if we focus on them, we will absolutely lose. We will absolutely lose. So just fucking shoot. Just shoot the thing. Shoot the thing. From your mother. She don't recognize you. Mickey man. On a Sunday. What are we down to three? No, they're getting kills because they're fucking CQCing it. Or sorry, they're trying to they're trying to PvP him. They should just not even bother. Oh, that works in their favor. Uh, so stupid. All we have to do is finish the mission. I've been in this position. Like, if we fin if we focus on the objective, we'll be fine. She doesn't have a lot of fucking health. Oh my god, you guys! Fucking guys, will you stop trying to fucking sink your seat for your stupid fucking points, you stupid motherfuckers? There we go. Now we're gonna lose because these stupid ass cunts have got to get kills. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah! I got. I think I got yeeted off the ship while I was grabbing my fucking pizza. Probably. Because I know I spawned in. That's it. We win. Yep. There we go. That's all we have to do. We would have beaten it a lot sooner. Would have beaten it a lot sooner. Oh, I got put 